Ladies and gentlemen, digital investors, welcome back to another video where we cover everything that is going on inside of the crypto space. So if you're trying to stay up to date on everything that is going on in the crypto space, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. We have some good stuff to go over today from Wells Fargo and JP Morgan partnering to launch Bitcoin funds. We also have the second largest US mortgage lender to accept crypto payments later this year. We're also going to go over a couple of coins that look like they could see some bullish continuation, Ethereum possibly in an accumulation phase. And how could we also not talk about Cardano, which is as of right now sitting at $2.49. And if we check this out, we can see that Cardano has went on to make new all time highs, woke up to this this morning, and it was pretty great. As we can see, our previous all time high that we got for Cardano was $2.46. And today, we reached as high as two dollars and 58 cents so pretty cool stuff and if we also switch this to a weekly we can see that the next candle close for cardano on the weekly is going to be pretty pretty interesting things are already looking bullish we're getting nothing but bullish confirmations throughout the market whether you're looking at on-chain signals or ta signals whatever it is you're looking at most people are recognizing that the bull run is most likely still on despite everybody thinking that it was a bear market market and the bull run was over and this is it no we do have cryptos making new all-time highs we have cardano doing it now which is great because it is one of the top three cryptos as of recording this video and we have this weekly candle closing here in two days and if we can completely engulf all of this which we are currently doing uh, guys honestly the sky is going to be the limit here uh, for cardano and then most likely the rest of the crypto space to follow that's just kind of the nature of crypto right it's always a constant rotation it seems so now let's move on into some news if you guys are enjoying the video or you're a frequent viewer of the show and you would like to show some support then make sure you tap the like button as it does help a ton for the youtube algorithm to push this video to more people and here we have a prominent trader sees bullish continuation for three altcoins and says that ethereum is in an accumulation phase so he goes over elrond egld which is up from around 100 to 150 dollars in the past couple of weeks it's likely destined for bullish continuation he says the egld might remain in an uptrend for days or weeks it's setting up for a strong three day after breaking out of consolidation this could trend for days or weeks and here's the chart that he posts with it then he shows us breaking out of this consolidation is what he is calling it he also goes on to say pancake swap or cake cake has been in an uptrend since late july and will likely continue its ascent possibly hitting all-time highs in the near future cake you cake against the us dollar has been only in up mode since late july and he's also bullish on the layer two scaling network polygon or matic predicting that the asset will reconquer the two dollar level he says this looks like bullish consolidation on matic they're going to throw it back to two dollars plus as we know that roughly two dollar mark in the two dollar fifty cent mark uh, is was the previous all-time high for matic so it's going to be pretty crazy to see and it's kind of looking similar to cardano right where we could see this go and break past its old all-time high uh, much much like cardano has right matic seems to be right around this level whereas the cardano is just a little bit ahead so it's also really nice to just see how similar uh matic looks right here in this chart finally the crypto dog says that the smart contract platform ethereum is likely entering a consolidation phase as it trades around the three thousand to thirty two hundred dollar region he says eth consolidating my money is on accumulation right and that's what everyone always, is always trying to figure out hey are we in an, in an accumulation phase are we going through a distribution phase right now if you can tell the difference between the two you know that's what's going to separate you from making a lot of money and getting wrecked here we have coinbase launches in japan so this is pretty cool as we know coinbase has been servicing the united states in other areas but now they are going ahead and launching in japan Japan. so this is pretty cool it makes me wonder if when we see new listings on coinbase right we always sometimes have those notorious coinbase pumps i wonder if these pumps could be a little more aggressive now that we'd have japan right there uh buying with us here we have wells fargo jp morgan partner with nydig to launch bitcoin funds so this is pretty crazy stuff this is from a trio of filings with the sec on thursday revealed that both wells fargo and jp morgan are working with investment services services company NYDIG to offer Bitcoin investment exposure to their client base. 
two of the notices named JP Morgan Securities and another notice names Wells Fargo Clearing Services. All three of these will offer pooled investment fund interest from private issuers that NYDIG has established to hold Bitcoin. The minimum investment accepted from outside investors is $100,000, while the other two filings are US-based and have no quota for outside investment. And this goes over the assets under management for NYDIG and also some other stuff about JP Morgan. So we'll just run through this really quick. NYDIG has six billion assets under custody and continues to expand. It announced a variety of new partnerships in quarter two of this year to enable ease of access to Bitcoin in the banking space. Meanwhile, JP Morgan has been on a blockchain hiring spree to fill positions in its Onyx unit, and it recently took steps to allow its wealth management clients to invest in crypto funds. So it's coming, guys. Also, I, I came across this. This won't be included in today's video. Uh, we'll probably cover this tomorrow, but banks facing inevitable digital future, Deloitte blockchain survey suggests. This one's pretty good. We'll cover it on tomorrow's, but just kind of goes to back up what we're seeing here, right? That this is pretty much inevitable, right? These banks either go digital or they die, uh, since it seems like that is where the world is moving. That's where people want to go. So they want to go digital. So I think we are already seeing, and it's about to become very obvious uh, that it, it's all about adapt or die here. Here we have the second largest US mortgage lender will accept crypto payments possibly this year this is pretty cool because i know a lot of people who are invested in crypto you know do talk about using some of their profits to either invest in real estate invest in land or something else so to be able to use your crypto to pay for mortgage payments and this is coming from the second largest u.s mortgage lender i mean that's pretty big i know there's going to be people who take this offer absolutely there will be people who take advantage of this so united wholesale mortgage again the second largest united states based mortgage lender is planning to accept cryptocurrency payments this year and note that they say cryptocurrency payments this year starting with bitcoin so we could possibly see other cryptocurrencies that you can pay your mortgage in the ceo matt Ishbia revealed that the crypto plans on Monday in a conference call regarding the firm's quarter two results, with the firm posting over 138 million in net profits for the quarter. The CEO says we're excited that hopefully this year we can actually execute on that before anyone in the country. So you see there's a bit of a fire under their butt as well, right? To execute before anyone else in the country. Why would they want to do that? Why would they want to roll that out so quick? Because it's clear that there's demand for it, right? There's people who have millions of dollars in crypto or hundreds of thousands they are cash poor you know they want to use this crypto for something but they don't want to sell their crypto necessarily and this could be a perfect perfect option and of course they want to be first why because they can get all of that market share they could be right there to capture especially as we're coming up you know on possibly one of the most explosive bull runs we have ever seen there is a lot to be excited for right now our fear and greed index for today is sitting at 70 and let's check some prices we have bitcoin at Forty-eight thousand dollars, and as we can see here, guys, there is a good amount of green on the board. Most things are up four uh, percent or more. Ethereum at thirty-two hundred dollars. Cardano sitting at two dollars and fifty cents. Binance Coin at four hundred and fifty dollars. XRP at a dollar and twenty-six. Uh, Dogecoin we have at thirty-two cents. Polkadot at twenty-eight dollars, and Solana at seventy-eight dollars. If we check out what is up the most on the twenty-four hour here, of course. We have that good old safe moon up 20% on the day. We also have Avalanche in second, then Helium, Harmony, XDC. Hey, that's nice to see. XDC at number one, two, three, four, five, up 12% on the 24 hour. So things are looking cool. Here we have Telcoin at number seven, up 11% on the 24 hour. Telcoin sitting at two cents. Let me know if any of you guys in the comments are holders of Tel. I'm personally very excited for Telcoin and to see what type of gains it posts to close out this year. And with that said, guys, that is the video for today. If you enjoyed it, make sure you tap the like button and hit subscribe and hit the bell. You'll be notified every time I put out a video like this. If you're trying to stay up to date on everything going on in the crypto space, then definitely subscribe keep in mind that none of this is financial advice and i am not a financial advisor i am just documenting the daily crypto news in this crypto bull run and anything that i express is my opinion i know it shocks me that i even have to say that but it seems like everybody does anyways guys i hope you're all doing well hope you guys are all in the green today and i will see you on the next one have a great day everybody